for a type 2 diabetic, an A1C or HbA1c test is your report card. The numbers may be good, or it can just mean that there is more work to be done. But if you don't know what an A1C test is, and why it is important, the purpose of this video is to make it all crystal clear for you. One big problem with testing your blood sugar at any given point in time is that it doesn't really give you the big picture. You may have low numbers after having very high numbers for a majority of the time. That's where a more long-term measure is necessary. That's where the glycosylat hemoglobin or HbA1c or A1c test comes in. An A1c test looks at an average of your blood sugar levels over a two to three month period. In order to do this, this test looks at hemoglobin levels. The way it works is, red blood cells live for about 120 days in your body. And it is the hemoglobin inside of the red blood cells, the portion of the red blood cells that carry oxygen, that bind to blood sugar, to form hemoglobin A1c. When blood sugar is high, A1c levels are also high, because there is more glucose in the bloodstream. An A1c test, is a good measure of long-term blood sugar control, and not of short-term control. The goal for an A1C test, set by the American Diabetes Association, is less than 7%. A normal non-diabetic A1C, is between 4% and 5.7%. The American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists, has a stricter target, which is less than 6.5%. And the recommendation, for an A1C test, is at least twice per year. You can have your doctor do it, or you can get an at-home A1C kit, and do it yourself. The major reason why there is so much of a focus on A1C is because the higher your A1C, the higher your risk is for diabetes complications. According to the ADA, every 1% decrease in A1C is related to a 37% decrease in microvascular complications. Microvascular complications are those that affect your eyes, kidneys, and feet. For the most part, most of the physicians that I have worked with, all prescribe medications, for patients with a high A1C. And if an A1C is off the charts, like say an 11% or above, many doctors will consider insulin therapy. A great and safe way, to lower your A1C naturally, is to become more consistent with what you eat, exercise, and testing. And once you find those foods and exercises that work well for you, sticking with them, and making them part, of your go-to routine. Consistency is the key. And this is why an A1C test is so powerful. It lets you know your consistent blood sugar levels over a longer time period. Prior to using any of this material, please consult with your physician. For more information on type 2 diabetes and how to control and even conquer it, visit my website, diabetesdietcures.net now.